We are in the Onergy Valley at 1,600 meters high, between the Middle Atlas and the High Atlas. The Wed Melul watercourse runs through it. Uncle Hela is about to marry off his son. <laughs> In this subsistence economy, all close relatives help in the preparations. Moha, the groom, is repainting the house. Sadia, the bride, is fetching water in a bucket to have a bath under the watchful eye of her mother, Fadma. <laughs> Both families get up early to go to the souk. This is their main activity of the week, where they do their shopping and meet people. The following day, the family of the groom is going to perform the aban to confirm the marriage by offering gifts. Salam alaikum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Hugging her brother, the bride observes everyone around her, and then blessings are bestowed. The following day, Sadia observes her surrounding landscape before locking herself indoors until she leaves to meet the groom. This is her day. She is closing the chapter of her life as an unmarried woman as relatives and invitees do their best to entertain her. The day after, the groom performs the asminar, another ceremony where wheat is ground together with sugar and dates to encourage abundance. Then there is the henna ceremony. The word henna shares the same root as the word kindness. Every rite is packed with symbolic meaning. Henna patterns will be designed on the bride's hands and feet three times. The number three recurs in every rite. The bride's fingers are bound with woolen yarn while her brother holds her arm. The gift bearers, known as Isnayan, go to the bride's house to offer gifts bought at the souk, a mule specially prepared for this occasion, will later bring back the bride. <laughs> The delegation is received at the bride's house with joy.
مرحبا مرحبا The henna ceremony is set up for the bride, who has to get dressed on the spot, screened by a sheet. By tradition, she can only leave the room to go to her new house. The high point of the ceremony is when her eldest brother marks the end of her unmarried life by veiling her with a scarf. It's her other brother that holds her arm during the henna ceremony. Henna is thought to be the plant of paradise. Having spent the night at the brides, the following day, the invitees and gift bearers are offered a meal, and then the bride is prepared for her departure. The bride has to walk on her eldest brother's cape and turn around three times, kissing him once at each turn. Her auntie heads the procession and leads the bride at a steady pace. As the two villages are several miles apart, other invitees join the procession along the way. The father of the groom welcomes the bride and marks his taking her under his wing by placing a scarf over her head. The father and mother of the groom receive the bride and lead her around the tent three times. Oh, my God. 
A number of other highly significant rites are performed in front of the tent, each of which is repeated three times. A boy is placed behind the bride to predict beautiful offspring. Her mother-in-law gives her milk to drink to ensure their union is pure. The bride kisses a lamb to encourage abundance. The bride sprinkles her entourage with milk. The gift bearers then feign to run away, chased by others, pretending to catch them, while yet another group pretends to help the former to flee. On the roof of the house, the groom, who must not be seen until the right time, watches the performance of the old Amazigh traditional dance known as Ahidus. The groom then meets the bride for a joint ceremony. an improvised screen, a piece of the bride's headdress is detached and placed on her mother-in-law's head. Ito, her mother-in-law, joins in the Ahidus dance together with her son. Again, the bride symbolically collects firewood offered to her by younger members of the entourage, while her mother hands out sweets. The bride enters the house where other rites are performed. The 
bride and groom dance the ahidus together. Once the marriage has been consummated, the mother of the bride proudly celebrates having preserved the virginity of her daughter. The following morning, the bride makes an appearance to greet everyone. Those close to the newlyweds give them money in full view of everybody. To make their life sweet, sweet snacks such as biscuits and dates are served with tea. feed each other porridge made of cereals and melted butter in turn. To reiterate their quest for abundance, the fingers of the newlyweds are dipped in melted butter. <laughs> Lastly, the men prepare meat kebabs and serve it to the guests. Then comes the separation. For Sadia, who will be remaining in her new house, this is a heart-rending moment. Final blessings are given. 
اللهم ربنا دينا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي نبي وعجا آله وصحبه وسلم سيما سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين